I'm gonna be linking all the products, all the affiliates that I have down below in the description. Make sure to go and check it out. Save yourself some money. There's some coupon codes there. Okay, okay, so we're about to set this up. First thing we gotta do is we're gonna install this plate right here. Guys, don't worry. This is just a quick video because I, I can't wait to test this on the water to see how it does here to have an idea to then do a fully in-depth test review of that motor here but we're not just gonna do that motor we're gonna do both that motor and the bow mounted trolling motor with a catch products motor plate we're gonna put one here in the rear one in the front on the bow and the cool thing about the one in the rear is that it's gonna have a space for the power pole as well we're gonna be doing all that stuff all right so let's start by just removing let me put this over here so it's out of the way let's go ahead and remove the inserts when you're doing this I recommend you use a screwdriver. Why? You don't want to overpower these inserts. You, you don't want to turn them. Although there is a lot of plastic underneath there that it should hold it in place. But still, you shouldn't risk it. I think I got this from Yeah Gadget for a Bisbee setup a long time ago. And what I recommend is uh, you see all this stuff because I use this thing in salt water. Put some WD 40 in there clear all that dirt and all that stuff i don't have to like tie this down here i'm just gonna give it a little bit but like i don't have to because it's not gonna come out if you're gonna do like a permanent installation yes i recommend you get the right size and you tie this down properly what i love about this it's just so easy look you just get the plate and align it right here and those four and then you just go that's it you don't have to use any tools nothing and as you can see here you still have space to run this through look i had this on my autopilot and i took it out on a probably 16 mile run going back and forth the seven mile bridge and i just had it tongue screw and no issues now we're not gonna put this motor here and then i'm gonna fix it Go ahead and put the motor in there. This is like a difficult part. I don't know why uh, Newport didn't do the same thing they had for the 180. Because if you have the, the watch here, this piece could stay in the motor. And you have to just put it down. It, it will be an easier setup. This thing is not going anywhere right here. Look at that. I could even lift the boat with it but we have a steering problem i'm not ready yet to run cables from here through it and use the pedals why because i'm gonna be putting a bow mounted trolling motor in there and i want to be able to just use the rudder to control that motor if i don't want to take the overpowered nk300 with me because maybe it's not such a long trip maybe i just don't want to take it because i mean you have this 20 pounds or so and you got the lithium batteries you're looking about 60 pounds so maybe that day i don't want to take that extra 60 pounds because i don't need it because i'm not going far and i don't need to go fast i'm just going fishing right this bolt on that seven miles trip <laughs> a shark hit this motor thinking it was food <laughs> I'm lucky to be here, let me tell you, because that shark was big and what if it went for something else? And this thing bent it, or wouldn't like it, I remember. And I had to stop in the middle of an island to fit this again, to make it work. Okay, it's not all the way down, I don't think it looks like it goes all the way down. So right now this thing is there, it shouldn't move. We should be able to control it with the rudder. The next thing to do, and this is the other thing. The way you would do this, well, this cable is not big enough. It's not big enough. So you have to get a smaller cable to plug it in here. And then another cable to fit this to this. 
See, this is why um, if I start setting up all this stuff for the final really good video, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take probably weeks. So that's why when I get this one out there, while I work on the professional video that I really wanna do, and then I have this one out there and you guys already get at least some of your questions answered. And so I'm gonna put this Yak Attack accessory right here. I wish I had the loop one, but I don't have the one that is kind of like a loop. But what I'm gonna do is just gonna have it there to kind of like trace this cable that is gonna go here. So I'll run it through that Yak Attack thing. I wish I had the loop one. So we're gonna run it through here bring it through the carabiner and then you need to attach this here and the reason for that is to be able to activate this pulley so let's go ahead and do this i always like to do a knot and then the other knot that's why there's no slippery thingy so if we come here and we just see that was nice now we need something to hold that in place you could use something like this but i like to use this one because it feels like a boat. I'm just gonna put it here. We just bring it up, all the way up, all the way up, and I'm just gonna do this. And that thing is not going anywhere. Oh, this is cool. This is cool right here. Super cool. Uh, I need to strain it out of this thing. <laughs> so the other thing that we need to do is set up the reverse. gonna guide this through this loop over here not sure exactly where I'm gonna put the throttle I think I need to see speed and stuff like that and and looking behind me is not the best thing to do so I'm just gonna put it right here in the front and I think here what I might put is some sort of click just like I have on the other side to hold that reverse if I need to do that. So throttle right here. Now what we need is the battery. Ah, <laughs> we need a longer cable. Luckily, I think I have a station, but anyways, our uh, new port does have a longer cable for this battery, so that's, that's what I'm gonna set up right now. I think we're ready to do the first test, which is to make sure we have power. So, right there, we got the right voltage 40. Got the kill switch there. Let's turn it on, let's give it a little bit of juice. Boom, that's working okay guys are we ready let's go mice and wins speed Whoa. <laughs> other thing we have to do is release the motor of course okay it's not turning oh my god i already fell the first test the rotor did not turn <laughs> i want to turn with the rotor not doing nothing nothing at all so that was a failure but we could do some quick tests to see how fast this boat turn uh, goes i guess not turn just want to get a quick feel for the speed let's go to maximum five miles an hour 6.3 6.2, 6.5, 6 6.6, 6. Okay, we never stop here. Even though we lost $600, it was a humiliating experience. We're back here because we need to make this work. So you see this rudder wasn't strong enough to be able 
to steer this boat if I had the um, NK on the back. With the Bisbee in the front, when I was in the lake, it steered really nicely. Let me do a little knot here so it doesn't go under there. This cabling is long enough. Look at all that excess cabling right here. I could lose all that stuff. Run this cable all the way back here. Put the motor in there and steer with the pedals. Sweet! I think they did this on purpose like this for that specific reason. If someone didn't want to be bothered with the rudder, you know. So I'm going to have to go ahead and extend these cables a little bit. Judging for where they are. They're like right here. And I need this much. So I think I'm just going to get maybe this much. Put it all the way here. Yeah. I could probably use it like this. But um... I still want to raise the motor up a little bit. I think we're ready for prime time, boys! One of the cool things about a kayak like this, hands-free fishing! This is truly hands-free fishing because you can just set the speed you want and then you could just cover the waters that you want and you steer with your feet like this. We're finally back here. I think I got the motor running very well. So it's time to do a complete water demo. <laughs> what I was doing right there, right now, was actually clearing up the prop because it had a lot of vegetation and I could tell that it had a lot of vegetation because the motor was like mm, doing that all right guys so now that we have the motor running the way that we wanted after trial and error finally back here at this lake i wanted to go fishing today but it was really cold this morning i couldn't i couldn't get up and really i was gonna go fishing to the same place i lost 600 dollars worth of stuff yesterday so we're finally here and what i want to answer is two questions one what is the maximum speed that you could get on this power 129 by bona five using that three horsepower engine on the back and what is how much water power it you need to get there all right so for starting i just want to give you the rundown because oh, this this motor on the back has a lot of torque so i'm just gonna go ahead and give it a i don't know 25 percent i want to see what 25 percent does the motor is going 3.9 miles an hour 3.6 miles an hour 3.8 probably gonna get to i don't know 3.9 it could touch four miles an hour really so let's say just average to be safe at 25 percent power you're looking at three and a half to four miles an hour so most likely it's gonna be three and a half miles an hour so let's just go 50 you saw how easy it was to turn this engine right here no problem this engine <laughs> this boat right here was super easy to turn it no problem 50 percent power that's about 463 watts you could do your own calculation to see at 25% how many watts that will be. It will be half of that. 200 plus. So we're hitting 5 miles an hour. Like it's 5.2. 50% power, you hit 5 miles an hour. At 50% power, and I'm going to test this soon. We'll see what the, how much the battery will go for. Like how long it will last. I know the maximum power 100% is gonna last you for two, two, and two hours and 20 minutes or so if you go uh 50 half it's gonna be like over four hours four times five is 20 miles and as you saw at 25 percent which is gonna stay in your range you could go at four hours an hour then i have to four 
So it, it's there at 4.5. Even now we just turned, it was 4.9. 5.4. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and do a 75% power. Uh, I'm trying to get exactly a 75. Uh, I can't. There you go. No, don't lie to me. Uh oh. It's like it's, it's there between. All right, finally, 75% power, okay? Let's turn here. Oh my God, you see how easy it is to turn the boat? All I did was to disconnect the rotor cables and extend them a little bit. And that's how I'm able to turn. But I do hope you do a better job than me. I, I have to move quickly, guys. I, I can't be like making it perfect and then it doesn't work and then try to do it again. I had to just, just to test. I need to test the idea that I have and just go come here, see if it works or not. And if it works later, I'll put it together in a nice way, but I just needed to know if it works because I, I really don't have the time to, to waste and, and all that stuff. There's so much going on right now. I got two boats in the house right now that are wrapped. I haven't even unboxed them yet. I'm planning to do that tomorrow. Okay, so I've been waiting for the motor to do its thing. Just get a feel for it. 5.9 miles an hour, 5.8, 75% power. Let's go ahead and um, I don't think it's gonna go over that. Just put it at uh, 100% to see what's the maximum we could push it to and then bring down the power a little bit to see really what it takes to get to that maximum boat speed. So I'm turning a maximum percent power right here. You see that it's not a big deal on the motor. Like I'm gonna do donuts here for you guys. I'm gonna go over my own wake so you see it. Actually, I'm gonna do this, turn to my right, because why not? If those rudder cables were not properly attached, they would have come loose already because I'm turning the boat going at maximum speed and just doing like circles here. This is some crazy stuff. Okay, I think we got a little bit of grass on the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the reverse to just get rid of it. I'm gonna stop the boat completely. I'm gonna... Yeah, I see, the, I see the grass getting out of it. Actually, there's still grass there. I'm gonna try to stay away from the grassy areas. And I'm gonna try to go straight. 6.4, 6.5, 6.6, I don't think I've seen it higher than 6.7. So 6.8, I just saw it. Don't make me a liar, phone. I just saw 6.8. But maybe that was a fluke. Let's assume 6.7. Let's see how much power really you need to get to that 6.7. 6.5. Six point two, six point five, eighty-five, eighty-six percent power. All right, let's see. Let's just let it run straight. Six point two. So every boat is different. This boat is faster than most other kayak I tested this motor on. To get to the maximum speed on other kayaks, some of them hit it at seventy-five. Some of them hit it at eighty, eighty-five. This one, it looks like it's gonna take the full 100% to go maximum speed. Let me just try 95, just, just to test it out. Hopefully we could get 6.6. .6. Okay, okay, that was very close, 6.6. .6. Because most of the time I was hitting 6.6 .6 going 100%. So I would say right now that 95% power it's gonna get you to the 100% hold speed on this boat pretty much. You don't have to go 100, but I mean, you're almost there. Okay, so first thing I like to do is remove the kill switch just in case, you know, don't wanna like power this thing like that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the motor up. As you can see, the that thing holding the motor in, in the back is bent. 
I'm gonna see if I find a stainless steel piece somewhere <laughs> because it's gonna get like that that motor is too heavy to be like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here I'm gonna be linking all the products all the affiliates that I have down below in the description make sure to go and check it out save yourself some money there's some coupon codes there 11 26 and it's time for me to go home oh no did i just do that i just scratched the hell out of my kayak <laughs> 